Titan's Ed here, back to another video review, and I've got Titan Return figures. Oh yes. And this is Generation 1 Blur. Well, not Generation 1, but this is definitely the G1 model of Blur. Uh, definitely one I was super excited to hear they were doing. If there was one complaint I had about the, uh, the last Generation's Blur they put out, it was that it was just reusing the Drift Mold. And since he's supposed to be described as a sniper, the drift mold really didn't work well with the sniper gun they gave him. So yeah, I really do love, 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 love this vehicle boat. It is exactly like the Generations 1 version. Well, not exactly, exactly, but it definitely invokes that. The color is, the blue is darker than what I remember. I remember having the G1 blur for a brief time uh, in the 90s. I think I traded it for something else, but I'm not sure. Uh, but the the this blue, this blue right here, is a lot darker than the G1, I think. Uh, but this blue is just about right. Uh, but yes, he is uh, the ultra sleek vehicle mode. I really like it. Uh, these do also come with these new collector cards, and I love these new collector cards! Why? They give you the tech specs on the back. I might actually start showing these off from now on, just because of that. That is pretty cool. Now he is Headmaster is Hyperdrive, and if I'm not mistaken, that was the name of his Target Master during the Rebirth, but I may be wrong. If someone knows, correct me down in the comments, but uh... I think that was his target master. So, also, the one thing about Blur I really want to talk about is the way his uh, head ma or Titan Master sits. You actually have to bend his feet like that because there's actually a divot specifically designed to hold it while in vehicle mode. And the other thing, only other thing I actually think to complain about is that the canopy doesn't quite encapsulate the driver uh, like it should. Like, I think. This is the seat, and I don't know, maybe, is the seat supposed to, no, yeah, nah, the, I guess the seat kind of closes up that back, but it just leaves a few gaps that I really don't like, yeah, um, the only thing I can think of complaining about here in vehicle mode is I wish the gun sat back a little bit further in the, uh, underneath here, you could peg it onto the side, but that looks a little bit ugly for the kind of super sleek vehicle mode this is evoking. So, I'm going to take the Top Master out. I'm going to show you one thing before we go into uh, robot mode, if I can get it out. It's the front... Ah, nuts and bolts. Ah, come on. The front uh, nose bit detaches and becomes sort of a, a, a turret emplacement because it has a little fold out wedge and you can stick any titan master into that and it comes kind of a kind of like a turret emplacement uh all of the so far as i can see all the deluxes and the uh all and the the voyagers except for galvatron seem to be able to do this, seem to have this ability. Now, the other thing a lot of the Deluxes and the Voyagers also have is, if you can see that tiny little peg there, and look at the bottom of his feet, he's got those tiny little holes. They're designed so they can sit on here. I am a little terrified to use these too often because I'm afraid they're going to break off and they're going to be stuck in the feet. So... I'm not sure if I'm going to keep those on there or if I'm going to use them very often, but yeah. So you uh, can transform him, Generation 1 style, sort of. He he does have a lot of changes to him, like this part, which on the Generation 1 figure was the top of his head, is now something that actually folds away in uh, the toy itself. The Headmaster actually has that little uh, head vein thing pop up. When you when the Titan when the, when the Titan Master uh, uh, goes into the head and into the transforms into the head, it uh, actually has one that a faux one that pops up. Now, 
show you the Titan Master. Whoa, whoa, a little bit more. <laughs> he dropped away from me. You do have this. Very nice. He's a lot more painted than some of the other Titan Masters I've got. Uh, his robot mode is his. The Titan Master's little robot mode is a lot more painted than a lot than the even the Voyager ones are very bare compared to this one. This almost feels like it just should be coming from Katara, not Hasbro. But yes, turn him into his head mode, and as I said, he does have that little wind vane kind of thingy stick up. I think the only problem is is that I kind of wish this have a it had a divot to lock it in place because it's very loose. And I don't know if that's a case of I just need to take a very, very tiny screwdriver and screw the bolt a little tighter to get that to stay in place because it it doesn't take much to knock it back down. Now, luckily, he goes onto his head relatively with no problem. So, really cool. Now, this part that you use to make that little turret emplacement, you could attach it back onto the back like this. It still goes back here. It's a very G1 thing. Uh, you could also take it off and make it sort of a, a shield, sort of a buckler shield. I really kind of like that. I do enjoy that concept a lot. It really does look kind of cool with him, and I like his blaster. So, yeah. Uh, Blur is definitely awesome. Definitely, I would recommend picking him up. Uh, for me personally, I like him just for the fact that he is, he's more Generation 1 Blur than the Generations Blur was, or is. He looks a lot more like he just jumped off the screen of the Transformers movie than, uh, than out of the IDW comic book. So, yeah. Until next time, this is Titan Z saying I'll see ya when I see ya.